The story begins. In a hypothetical future, Four Arms defeats Vulcanus and reverts to Ben 10,000, who encases Vulcanus in a null void egg. Ben 10,000 then turns into XLR-8 and flees to his base. Ken, his son, is enjoying his 10th birthday when he arrives. Ben 10,000 hands over Max Vulcanus' null void egg for him to put in the null void. Ken informs his party attendees about Ben's job. Gwendolyn appears as a hologram and presents Ken with a rock creature as a pet. Ken blows out the candles on his cake and begins to unwrap gifts. Max buys him a hoverboard and a few more things. Finally, Ben appears and presents Ken with his gift, an Omnitrix preloaded with 10 aliens and a limiter, which Ken dislikes. When the alarm goes off, both Tennysons change into XLR-8. The XLR-8s flee and confronts Blute. XLR-8. Ben 10,000 becomes Cannon Bolt, while XLR-8 Ken becomes entangled in slime. Cannon Bolt morphs into Heat Blast, then back into Ben 10,000 before delivering a Null Void Egg to Sploot. As a youngster watches on a television, Diamond Head battles Mott Snickrup. As Buzz Shock assaults, Diamond Head turns into Spitter and Ken. Buzz Shock is on the verge of defeating Mott Snickrup when Arctiguana freezes him. Ben 10,000 delivers Max Snickrep's Null Void Egg at HQ. Ken is irritated because Ben refused to let him do anything. Ken's role, according to Ben, is to observe and learn. Ken rides away on his hoverboard. He rides alongside another child, Devlin, and the two of them compete in stunts. To win, Ken turns into Wild Vine. The lads eventually become pals. That night, an alert sounds because someone is attempting to assault HQ. Kevin 11 bursts in the door. Ben sends Ken away because he believes Kevin is too dangerous to combat. Ben changes into four arms and marches out to battle. Kevin and four arms battle, and four arms turns into Cannon Bolt. Ken sees a vent in his room. In the Null Void Chamber, Cannon Bolt becomes into XLR-8. XLR-8 informs Kevin that he has relocated the projector and is preparing an egg. Gray Matter emerges out the vent, but reverts to Ken. XLR-8 is taken aback to see him. Kevin departs, and Ben Mummy removes Ken from the vent. Ken becomes enraged at Ben and rushes away. The following day, Ken and Devlin discuss their fathers. Devlin proposes that he and Ken locate the Null Void Projector and fly away. After Max exits and goes away, they proceed to the Rust Bucket. They infiltrate the room in search of the projector, which Ken thinks is in the Rust Bucket. Ken turns into Ditto and sends out clones to find the projector. Outside, Gwendolyn advises Ben to give Ken a chance to earn his confidence. When one of the Dittos discovers the chamber with the projector, he, Devlin, and Ken's pet enter. Devlin mutates into Devlin 11 and frees his father just as Ben arrives. Kevin rushes up to Ditto, who changes back into Ken, and says that being imprisoned in the Null Void was the finest thing that ever happened to him since he has now absorbed the abilities of 11,000 aliens and transformed into an even more monstrous shape than before. Kevin brutally assaults Ben, Ken, and even his own son Devlin, who begs his father to spare their lives. While Ben moves the battle outdoors, Ken devises a strategy to beat Kevin. Ben changes into Diamond Head and continues to battle Kevin, but Kevin weakens Diamond Head, who then transforms back into Ben. To enter, Ken turns into Grey Matter, then into Spitter, and last into Buzz Shock. Buzz Shock recovers to normal, and Ken reveals that he used Grey Matter's brain to remove the limiter from the Outnitrix, which made Time Out impossible. Kevin grabs Ken and tells him that it will still not rescue him. Kevin is ready to toss Ken, but Devlin intervenes to protect him. Devlin reveals why he rescued Kevin. He wishes his father cared about seeing his son again, but instead discovers that he is just concerned with murdering the Tennysons. Devlin sobs when he realizes this, but then returns to assaulting his father. Ken changes into XLR-8. Devlin and XLR-8 are tossed away, and XLR-8 reverts to Ken, who collapses. Ben awakens and discovers what happened to Ken, which enrages him. Ben changes into Way Big and ruthlessly crushes Kevin. Kevin transforms back to normal, and Way Big transforms back into Ben, but Kevin can still stand. Kevin is ready to assault Ben and Ken again when Devlin throws a null void grenade at him. Max claims to have a special area planned for Kevin in order to prevent him from absorbing any more alien DNA. Ken asks Ben whether he may utilize all 10,000 of his heroes, but Ben advises him not to. Devlin is ready to walk away when Ben points to Max, who grabs him. When Devlin asks if they would hurl him into the Null Void as well, Ken objects by standing in front of him, and Max and Ben answer that they could, or Devlin can remain with them and be part of their family. 
Thus, Devlin becomes a member of the Tennyson family. Later, Ken's rock pet regenerates and comes back to life, making him happy. And the story ends with this.